is relying so much on sex and oh she's good in bed oh she can make a good wife the wrong reasons to start dating when you are with people and they're dating married and most of them are pressuring you to do the same thing you always end up making the wrong decisions in life everyone has their own way of living it's not because that is what he wants it's not because he has made his mind it always pushes a man to also make the same decision he doesn't want to be left behind you need to start a relationship because that is what you have decided that is what you want and you're not doing it because other people are doing it so if they are not okay with that being with you living with you let them go this is what my friends are doing i also want to fit in i think if i do this my friends will always be around me no when you will have a lot of ups and downs in relationship, your friends will not be there for you. They won't be there to take care of that lady. They won't be there to pay the bills, to make sure that she's a good lady, a disciplined lady, a respect lady. No. When you make the wrong decisions, most of them will be happy about that. Most of the men, they end up starting a relationship. Uh, we had a good sex. You know, men are so different. I know. How men are treated is different from how women are treated. And most of the time, you will see a man making that relationship to be a serious relationship because he's relying so much on sex. Oh, she's a good one. Oh, she's good in bed. Oh, she can give me a good sex and I can really enjoy. My friend, when you will have a serious relationship with that lady and maybe decide to marry her and now you've decided that she's your wife, everything changes. It's never the same. Don't start a relationship and want to marry a lady because of a good sex. It's never all about that. It's more than that. And some of the women, when they have kids later on, the sex changes. They don't want you to see them as sex objects. We need sex. Everyone needs sex. Everyone needs to have that connection. Everyone needs to enjoy. Everyone needs to have that pleasure. But let's also understand that it's never all about sex. It's more than that. Can she be your wife? Can she hold you all the way down if things don't go right? A strong lady. Can she be submissive? Can she be someone who can understand? Attractiveness doesn't have to be all about beauty. Because if today she got an accident and maybe she doesn't really look that attractive the way she looked before because she has had an accident how will you survive on that we have to marry people we are attracted to we have to marry people we look and see that they are handsome they are beautiful but someone can be beautiful and handsome because of who they are of how they think they are hard working they connect with you because they listen but it's never all about the looks when you consider on the looks alone you end up blaming yourself because we married the wrong person these people most of them they are good people but when you learn understand them and know that actually is she's really not the one that i wanted it's just the, the image that I am at, being attracted to an image. What happens when that beauty disappears? How will you handle that relationship? Consider a lot of things. We have people who can support you emotionally. We have people who can be there for you. We have people who can listen. We have people who are hardworking. And maybe when you find someone who is hardworking, you feel attracted to that. We have people you can bond with. We have people who can think differently. Look at the things. Don't only go for the looks. These are just my suggestions. And if someone feels offended, then my apologies it's not bad someone to want care but if you want to be taken care of and that's the reason you are going to marry a lady make sure that you also study and know how to take care of the person they will get tired with that we are human beings and sometimes we get bored and when you get bored most of the time we tend to learn that oh, we are the only one who are working extra hard to make sure that the man is in a good position or the lady is in a good position so if you want to be cared that is just a suggestion make sure that you also know how to care when you know how to care about the other person when you are in a relationship with them you won't really face that challenge of oh they will come to complain you don't take care of them when we are heartbroken by other people we end up rushing into other relationships we want to heal we just want to take all our stress and everything to the other person and we want revenge do you always sit down talk to yourself and assure yourself that the only way a relationship will last long is if you have already healed I know it's hard for you to be by yourself, especially if you've been gone through a heartbreak. And it's supposed to be hard before it gets better. 
Because later on you will come to realize that ah, uh, I never really loved this lady. I just went into a relationship with her because I was going through a heartbreak. Don't take all your emotions, don't take all your negative energies, don't take all your feelings to the other person. They don't really deserve it. Can you handle a relationship? Are you going to decide the same way you are deciding when you were in your previous relationship? As far as women always end up being with men because oh the guy has money, he's earning a good salary and I think he can be financially stable. I have no problem with that because at the end of the day if you're dating and you want to marry a lady, make sure that at least you have a job. But let's also remember that you don't really have to be in a relationship with a lady. She's earning a certain salary. They can be at work but the salary doesn't really have to be the determinant of their relationship same happens with the lady the man can be working he can have a job but what he earns doesn't have to be the determinant of their relationship why when you marry someone they're earning a certain salary in their life what happens when they lose that job what happens when the money goes away how are you going to handle that relationship without money the, the money that is manipulating you to be in a relationship with the person it will end money comes and goes what of those days that you lack money? You are in a relationship with her because you feel pity for her. She, she seems desperate. Maybe you feel for her. The good guys, like you just want to be there for her. <clears throat> for what? Stop being too nice to women. When you be a pity guy, you end up with the wrong lady. They pretend to be good women. They know you will compromise to have a relationship with them. I feel pretty for her and I just want to be in a relationship with her. I want to comfort her. I want to be there for her to listen. Come on. This is 2030. It's not 2000. You went through a heartbreak and you finally healed it and you're not in a relationship. But you haven't really decided that you want to have a relationship. You're too lonely and you feel like, ah, being too lonely is so bad. I feel like I want to have a partner who can give me company. Trust me. That is not the way things are supposed to work. Oh, it's too late, you are that five years old, you don't have a lady, and I want to marry because I am 40 years old. I want to marry because I am that five years old. I want to marry because I am 18 years old. No. You can be even 50 years old, but you haven't really grown in your mind. You haven't really decided that that is what you want. You haven't really been ready emotionally. Marriage, that relationship, it will drain you. If you're not emotionally prepared for that, you will regret for the rest of your life. We end up making the wrong decisions and we end up blaming ourselves later on. Why can't we just use the normal knowledge that we have? Something that we always know but we don't really apply. What are some of the terrible reasons that a person should not do because they want to have a relationship? And this is the green Elima. If you watch up to this point, thanks for that. Until next time, be safe, take care, and let's have peace.